Jess is going to get you, even though Siri be tripping sometimes, she's going to get you where you need to go. But also remember to use your gut. And if it feels like Dwight and it's saying we shouldn't turn here, use your gut and, and go with the strategy that you think will work for you. Um, last year we all, or however many years ago now, we all experienced with a, a world shutting down. So I'm sure your strategies weren't going to work. So you have to pivot. So remembering that. Um, prepare for blowouts, have that backup tire and prepare for traffic. So sometimes the unexpected happens, emergencies happen, but also sometimes it just gets slow naturally. You can have a great idea, you can have a great business um, and everything can be fine, but sometimes it is just slow and social media will take some time. So you might want to get there, just be patient. Um, it's really important to have your fuel. So I love social media with a passion. I love coming up with ideas and content. But sometimes when you do something for so much, no matter what, you got a great car, you still have to refuel it. So find something that keeps your engine going when it comes to your business and putting that effort in and marketing on online. And then lastly, my favorite part of a road trip is having snacks and games and activities. So just remember to keep it fun for both yourself and others, and that is social media. Just be social. <laughs> We're all human beings in our universe pods, and when you remember that, you got it. Hey, <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Catalina, and I'm here with Catalyst Consultancy. We are a PR firm based in Springfield, Ohio, and I am psyched to be here. I am so happy to be here. And do you know why? Because I want to be here. And that's my first suggestion, is while we're on this long haul, do what you want to do. And maybe even more importantly, don't do the work that you don't want to do. So you can do that in a number of ways. If you have a particular part of your business that you just don't like doing, that's okay. You can either just specify that, you know what, we don't really do that, and that's part of your deal. Or you can build your business to a point where you can hire somebody to take care of that for you. Or you can find somebody who does that well, and you can just subcontract them, and then fix that into your own pricing. So, like I said, like we're PR, but I don't love social media. And so I find a wonderful subcontractor who's great at what she does to come do that work for my clients. Another thing that I wanted to point out is while we're here for the long haul, another way to make it better and a key way to make your experience better is to work with people who share your vision and your values. Work with people who are on the same page as you in a number of ways for your values. Because if you're working with people who you don't really groove with, you're not going to have a great time. And if you're doing work that you don't want to do, you're not going to have a great time either. And it's going to feel like failure when it's not. So those are the two things that I really wanted to bring to you, was to do what you want to do and enjoy the people that you're with. Wow. You guys are amazing. The best. So inspiring. We have the best community guides in Dayton, Ohio. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hit her up. Hit her up. Yes.
it's going to kill the work. Mm-hmm. It's a bad environment in the work. I'd rather be in a low school where you just don't have to deal than be with people that I don't like. It really changed my mind on things. I just want to just drive that home and not be stuck in a car with people you don't like. Go to the go Preach. Listen. Right. But I'm just, I want to grab the home. Like, that's so true. Yeah, oh, that's thank, you. thank you. One more time for them. Yeah, yeah. I see a workshop pairing right here. (laughs) Yes, absolutely in the making. All right, so we're gonna go on to the to the next one, and um, Danielle and I are actually gonna share this one real quick. It's a marathon, not a sprint, though it's a sprint at times too, right? Um, Danielle, do you want to start? Sure, sure. (laughs) Yeah, um, I mean, in this, I don't know. It's really what's echoing in my mind right now is that whole, like, do what you want to do that you guys just talked about. But do what you want to do because it is a marathon and you need to enjoy it or you're going to get completely tired out and you're not going to have the energy to continue your marathon. So to me, this really is about, like, doing what you love and staying passionate about it, finding a way to stay passionate about it. To your point back there, I mean, yeah, work with people that you have fun working with. Do what you want to do because it's fun for you. Um, finding that passion is, is just so important in life. Um, and the, though it's a sprint, too, at times, <laughs> it's definitely true because, you know, sometimes it comes down to the wire and you have to make things happen and you're, you're rushing. You know, maybe sometimes you're not doing what you think is completely your best work, but you have to, you have to still do it. You have to get something done. You have to push through. Um, and you know, that's where those short little sprints come in where you have to make, make a concentrated effort, make a concentrated push for something because that's your goal and you want to achieve that. Um, so that's really what that means to me is sometimes you got to push and you got to put a little more effort in, um, than what you feel like you might want to, or you might have time for, but you kind of just have to do it because you're doing it for you. You're doing it for what you believe in. So yeah. Yeah. There's my little two cents on that. <laughs> hey, nice. And like, kind of like layering it into actual marketing strategy. This, it's actually a, a, a strategy or a tactic that we use at, you know, at LMG. A lot of design uh, teams use it as well as the idea of sprints. So when you have these long, you know, these large campaigns that probably span from anywhere from one to two to six months, maybe the whole year you're supposed to plan for. A really effective way to break that down into bite-sized chunks of delivery so that you can produce the content you're not too overwhelmed is to have a sprint. And the sprint is basically a brainstorm on steroids. Basically, you you gather your team of experts. You can have a designer. You can have a, a writer. It was actually one of our the designers at LMG that came, that brought that idea to uh, to to the agency. Um, and everyone is there. They know what their role is. It's kind of like a relay race, honestly. Um, but you take that time, and it's like we're not leaving this room until we have sprinted through this month of content. 
And in an hour, sometimes two, if it's gonna be more than two hours, make sure you have some food. We usually will have like yeah, lunch have or something. <laughs> but a break. yeah, you want like effective sprints are the best way to tackle those marathon-like campaigns, right? So that's kind of like what, she, what, what Danielle was saying is that like, yes, it's a marathon, but sometimes you're gonna have to, you know, give it that push, which actually allows you to not be pushing the whole way through. Even with marathons, the best of the best, there's times when they're actually, they're coasting, right? But then there's times when they're really pushing to make sure that they're, they're, they're meeting their time. So that balance is really key. Yeah, and the, the cool thing about the sprints too is, you know, you can prioritize What's something that's really important to you that you felt feel like you haven't had the time to get it done? Do a sprint for it. Go somewhere new. Go to a new location. You yep. know, come here to the hub for a day, whatever. Um, and just just say, okay, this is my space. I've taken myself out of my day to day. This is my focused time to accomplish whatever important task it is that you haven't been able to somehow check off your list. So um, but it can be a really good way to prioritize what's important for your business too. And honestly, physically removing yourself from whatever your normal day situation is, get, o get off your work from home couch or whatever, right. <laughs> um, and moving can, can be a huge help for that. So awesome. I also recommend having coffee there. Yes, <laughs> yes. So that was our take on that. And we have one more, um, anecdote that we want to share from another one of our community guides. We're going to invite Kevin Spadova. And before you start, if you wanted to just like introduce yourself a little bit so you, we know your background of expertise, but Kevin is going to be talking about this idea right here. You have arrived is more of a beginning of an adventure than the end of one. Yeah, so my name is Kevin Sabota. I uh, I'm a marketing specialist at Kettering Health here in the healthcare space. Um, I also do on the side a lot of social media and content management, kind of blog posting and uh, emails to uh, a lot of different of our uh, clients in the construction industry. Uh, so that's a lot of what I do. And and the you kind of arrived um, at the end of the week here and maybe you're motivated about your marketing strategy and that and maybe you're like okay I have some actionable steps and things like that you're like whoo I arrived we think about marketing as a constant cycle I love what Izzy put earlier in the in the slide presentation if you were here on Tuesday about the flywheel there because we're constantly as marketers either in the planning phase the execution phase or the analysis phase. And maybe maybe we go the other way on the flywheel sometimes. Maybe we're in the execution phase and we have to go back to the planning phase there. And the thing about it is it's not one size fits all either. Maybe what fits for your business may not even fit for your competitor because of your competitive advantage there. Uh, another thing that you look at there um, is just kind of uh, what may work when you first start, maybe when you're at level one, that may not be when you go to level two what works, that content strategy there. Uh, kind of finding what works in the marketplace is a constant thing. And there's resources out there. In, you know, in the construction industry, there's an app called House there that we look at for popular ideas and kind of go along with that and mirror our content strategy to what those people are looking for. So there's a ton of resources out there and your marketing is a journey and it can also lead you to different pathways in maybe other areas of your business that you might find that you might need to work on. So when you're on your journey for your car, it may break down in, oh, I don't have maybe a specific way that I can direct customers to. So maybe in our software as a service professionals, maybe we're thinking, oh, maybe I need a free demo for them to try out my software. Then when I'm creating my Google ad, then I can direct to that free demo. So there's a lot of different things that your marketing journey can take you on. It's an exciting one. It's fun when you're done at the end of a campaign, one month, six months, a year. We're planning for next year right now in the thick of that. So, um, and also evaluating from the previous year. We're constantly evaluating that. And it's always fun to see that when you put a campaign out there, you get X amount of sales, you get X amount of sign up and things like that that motivate you to start your next campaign, so. Thank you so much, Kevin. Put your hands together for Kevin. 
wow, wow. That was, I learned a lot just by listening. I hope you, you guys gathered some, some good things from, from, from our expert community guides. Um, we'll, we'll be able to share, um, and when you're interacting with them in the workshop, make sure, make sure you connect with them on LinkedIn um, and you know, have conversations about your business. You never know what that can lead to you know, in terms of you know, further growth, further conversation. So definitely take advantage of that. Um, and um, so now, let's bring it home. I always have to pause because I just love this, <laughs> these analogies. Um, we're gonna bring it home in terms of just concluding this portion of the presentation before we go on our break. <clears throat> Hoping that you come back for the workshop. Please, please consider that. Um, bringing it home, we just wanted to kind of have this, this kind of final thought. So ultimately, your adventures should lead you back to our home base, or at least a safe place. And, and this idea is that like you, I mean, as it, as it said there, you want to plan to land in a good place when you're going on an adventure, right? So that should be the ultimate goal. I want to say real quick, that doesn't mean that you'll feel comfortable there. Correct. But it should feel right for your business. Yes, yes. It might be a little uncomfortable because it's new, but yeah. Yeah. Your marketing adventures should ultimately land your business at a place of peace, protection, and progress. And again, it may not always feel like that. It might not always be the combination of all of them. Uh, it might be a, a thing in terms of just your perspective at the end of a, of a, of a campaign. Um, but that should be what you're, you're striving for um, because that, in terms of you know, the idea of you have arrived, it's, you, you should be able to be like, whew, we did that, right? And so that is, you know, a, a good mindset. And so to be able to do, oh, Danielle, you want to jump I in there? I just want to add, you should not be in a lake. Not in a lake. <laughs> not in a lake. Unless you're on a boat, you know. True, or true. Swimming, I don't know. <laughs> but good point, good point. So kind of from what we talked about today, these are kind of those takeaways to make sure that you, you, you have those points and you know what to do from here, connecting those dots. Um, understanding better. First of all, remember to optimize your goals by keeping them smart, specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time conscious. I have to remember if I remembered all of them. I'm proud of myself for that, actually. <laughs> good job, good job. Um, then the next thing, you know, from the takeaways is ask the right questions to get the right context and insights to be able to cut through the noise, right? So remember that as well. Understand where you are with your marketing strategies and know what tools and tactics you need to get to the next level. So that's one of the materials we're gonna be sharing with you is actually, you know, those different tactics that we broke down. We're gonna give those to you so that you can maybe circle the ones that you think are the most important. You have that as a takeaway. So understand that. Um, because that's, you know, in terms of making the map, you got to remember where you currently are, point A, and where you want to be, point B. Um, and so before we, you know, we, we wrap up for today, um, we want to know is just take some time to answer like any, any just like general questions um, that you might have, whether it was from the, you know, the presentation or what the community guys shared. Um, any questions at all? All right, we ready for that break? <laughs> so with, with that in conclusion, we just wanted to, um, you know, thank you and just had some, some really cool information, just uh, some, some further takeaways. Um, to be able to, you know, ways to have access to more insights and to continue the conversation. So one of the ways um, is to stay connected with LMG um, in terms of the uh, creative intelligence that we try to share. We have uh, a, a, a newsletter that, um, that we, 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 we deliver, you know, on a, on a monthly basis. 
So if you wanted to subscribe to that, um, you can do so by going to info.lmgresults.com slash news. We also have blogs that we publish you know, um, regularly and that you can find that via the link that's shared there. If you just go to lmgresults.com and click around, creative intelligence, you'll find the blog there. Um, and then just follow us on social media. Follow us, we try to share things often, um, really trying to provide those kinds of insights um, for the community. The other, excuse me, the other resource that we wanted to share with you was HubSpot for Entrepreneurs. So we shared this last week, I mean, sorry, on Tuesday, um, and we wanted to do it, share it again here. So Launch Dayton actually has the opportunity to partner with HubSpot um, to be able to provide um, this amazing opportunity to utilize HubSpot's growth platform at a discount for entrepreneurs. Um, this is in no way like, you know, trying to sell HubSpot to you, but we utilize HubSpot. It's an enterprise level software that's really helpful for your digital marketing, um, connecting all the bases from, you know, your contacts to emails, campaigns to social media to your website, all of that baked into one. And because you're an entrepreneur and because you're associated with, you know, with Launch Dayton, you can actually take advantage of this um, opportunity. So look out for an email from Audrey at the end of, of this, um, th this workshop, probably end of this week, early next week, with the exact links and the things that you would need to be able to, to, to utilize um, this opportunity. Um, and we wanted to sh show you, I wanna see if I can do this real quick. HubSpot has some really cool free tools as well. Um, and this one in particular, if you remember, we were talking about market insights and personas and audience insights and things like that. HubSpot has a, just a slew of free tools. They also have certifications for digital marketing, social media, um, sales, you name it, they have it, it's all free. Their, their, their HubSpot Academy is all free. You can get certifications to help to boost your LinkedIn, you know, just your, your knowledge in general. But this one we wanted to just show you is the, the personas tool. And if you just go to HubSpot.com slash make my persona, you would actually either be able to learn about how to, what a buyer persona is. That's kind of like a refresher of what we did on Tuesday. Um, and you also would be able to make one. So if we wanted to click on, you know, making one. And they make it super fun. Too, it is so. super fun. I'm gonna even see if it allows. Okay, so as you can see here, some of the questions that we were asking if you were here on Tuesday, you can see that you're able to actually answer those questions in a simple way, walking through. Hmm. Wow, it speaks to you it as well. You. Um, you know, answers those questions walking them through, and what you end up with actually is, I actually made one for one of the, you know, uh, at a time this was uh, effective for one of our clients, Susan Accounting. You will actually be able to land with a persona profile. It's not as cool as the Waldo one that we had um, on, the, on Tuesday, um, but you would be able to have that that you could use for your strategic marketing um, and messaging, you know, crafting your message. And you can save this and download it so you can just keep this like with your marketing stuff to be able to go back and revisit it really easily. Um, you know, when you're stumped working on a piece of social content, take a look at this and see if it gives you some ideas. So yeah, um, yeah just wanted to share this helpful tool exactly. with you because it's free and easy to use and it talks to you apparently, so. <laughs> exactly, right? So you, yes. Oh yeah, so that is actually this, I think that would be the, the, the slide deck from our actual presentation oh. or the worksheet. Are you talking about the worksheet? Yes, yes, yes. Um, we could definitely, I could definitely get that shared for you um, in yeah, a we'll, moment. We'll put that up during we'll the break. We'll put that up, on yeah, the for you to. Yeah, and, sure. And we actually have those available here, the, the printed copies, for you to have that as well. For did sure. You, did you have a question back there? Did you? Oh, oh okay, yes, gotcha. Okay, so 
that is that is all. We just wanted to make sure you had that good information before you go on your break. Um, so thank you so much. This is not the end of our presentation. This is just a pause. We're excited to see you soon, right? Um, and as you are going, um, we you just go. We can go away with this. We'll have this up on on the slide, which is a sneak peek as to what we're going to be doing during during our work session. Okay, so go ahead and take some time. We'll give ourselves about, we'll say, 15 minutes um, to mingle, uh, network, and things like that, and then we'll regroup here uh, for the work session um, and start, you know, sharing some of those materials that we have for you and things like that. Thank you so very much. Thank you.